Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews and today we're going to have a look at how we can install WordPress on a hosting. So we're going to cover two methods here. First is how to install WordPress on hosting on your root domain and also on your subdomain. So for this video, we just assume that you already have a hosting account, but if you don't have one yet, you can always use the very first link in the description below, which will give you access to up to 91% discount on your hosting. Plus, if you use the promo code Mr. Web Reviews, this will give you an additional 7% discount. So great savings to be made indeed. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. So let's wait no further and let's dive right into it. Okay, so let's log into our hosting account. Log in. And if you haven't done so yet, you'll have to claim your free domain first. You have to click on this and then claim your, your domain before you can install WordPress. So don't forget to do that first. And then you'll have to set up your shared hosting package as well. So on, by clicking on the setup here. Once you're done with those two steps, you have your hosting ready, like here. And once you have your hosting ready, this is when we can actually install WordPress on your account. So you have to select the domain name that you registered. In my case here, it's Mr. Web Reviews Tutorials. And all you have to do is click on your domain name. And this is going to bring you to the H panel. So H panel, because it's hosting, normally it's called C panel. This is the mostly most commonly known C panel, but because it's Hostinger and the, their name starts with a H, they renamed that H panel because this is their own proprietary uh, solution here. So as you can see, we are presented with a few different icons here. So we have WordPress, order, accounts, email, domain, website, file, database, advanced, and others. So once you have all these, it might seem a bit difficult in off-putting, but don't worry, it's very simple indeed, as I'm going to show you now. So as you can see, we have a WordPress tab here. Underneath it, we have dashboard and plugins. So we cannot use this immediately to install WordPress. We need to use another tab, which is here below. So as you can see, if we go uh, scroll down to website, we have in auto installer. And this is the one we're going to use to install WordPress. So we're going to click on this now. And as you can see now, we have the choice between WordPress, WordPress plus WooCommerce, Joomla, and others. So this tutorial is about installing WordPress, which is here. So you can choose either of those two. So if you want to use WordPress on its own, you select this one. Now, if you want to create an e-commerce website using WooCommerce and WordPress, you will select this one. So that's basically the only difference between those two. This one, you can create an e-commerce website as well. And uh, WooCommerce will be installed automatically as part of the package. Now, we're going to install uh, WordPress. So all you have to do now is just click on Select. And from here, the first thing you want to do is to select HTTPS. So if you click on the uh, drop-down menu here and select HTTPS, because Hostinger provides free SSL certificate. The SSL certificate is the padlock here next to the web address that tells your visitors that your website is secured for online payments and uh, for information as well. So you select HTTPS, make sure that's your domain name that's selected here. And this one here, this field, you leave it blank. So if you leave it blank, basically uh, everyone would be able to access your website using this domain name. If you were to add something here, XYZ, well, your visitors will have to type mrwebreviewstutorials.com forward slash XYZ to access your website. So it's really up to you if you wanted to install that in a sub uh, folder. But in this case, we're just going to use our main root folder. So here you're going to type in your username. So I'm going to put here Mr. Web Reviews. And then you're going to type in a password. So just make sure this is something you can remember. And then you put your uh, email address right here. So normally it should be filled in automatically uh, using the email account used uh, when you registered. And then you put the site title here. So in our case it's Mr. Web Reviews. And then everything else I would advise you to leave it as is. Don't touch any of those settings. Leave it as is. It's absolutely fine. Now you can select uh, the update settings here so you can update only to minor versions so always update to the latest available version uh, you might as well take this one and have it up to date 
so let's click install now so as you can see this is going to take a few moments depending on how fast your internet connection is so there you go it's installed already so very simple now from here how do you access your wordpress admin panel your dashboard so very simply if you click on dashboard here once it's installed you click on this icon here again dashboard it's going to take a few moments to load and as you can see you have a button here that says edit website so if you were to click on this now it's going to bring you to your wordpress dashboard so let's do this now there you go so welcome to your wordpress dashboard now obviously you don't always have to go through your h panel to access your wordpress dashboard you can access it by simply typing your domain name for slash wp hyphen admin like you can see here on screen now let's see how we can install wordpress on a subdomain so back to our account here we click on our domain name again and then if we scroll down on the h panel we're going to look for the section where it says domains and as you can see we have a section an icon here that says subdomains so we're going to click on this and then we're going to create a subdomain so as you can see it's something dot mr web reviews tutorials dot com so whatever i'm going to put here it will be our subdomain so i'm just going to put test and as you can see we have a test dot mr web reviews tutorials dot com and all we can do is just create so we're going to create a custom folder for this subdomain and we're going to name this folder maybe the same name it's just easier to find when you are working on your website afterwards when you want to access your files and then all we have to do after that is click create and again it's going to take a few moments so that's it already done very fast indeed so we now have a new uh, subdomain test.mrwebreviewstutorials.com with its own uh, directory and now to install wordpress on our subdomain all we have to do is click on website auto installer again we're going to select wordpress and as you can see here we can select our domain name so now we have we presented with two options we have our main domain and then our subdomain test.mrwebreviewstutorials.com so select this one again make sure you select https type in your username credential uh, the admin panel uh, password your website title and finally always update to the latest version and then click install oh language is required sorry select your language and we select english here and then install so again this is going to take a few moments depending on how fast your internet connection is and as you can see now we have two wordpress installations uh, one on our main domain and one on our subdomain so how do you access the admin panel from this one so it's simply go on to dashboard and then dashboard again and as you can see you can select your domain name right from here so and we're going to select the subdomain so test.mrwebreviewstutorials.com and then don't forget to force the https since it's a new domain so install ssl you want to secure it obviously you know okay so this is done now and all we have to do to access the wordpress dashboard is to click on edit website and this is going to bring us to our wordpress dashboard so there you go and now we have to enter our credentials and there you go and as you can see this is our subdomain test.mrwebreviews.com and we have the padlock just to uh, signify that we have the SSL certificate activated as well. So there you go guys, this is how to install WordPress on hosting. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. I hope you found this helpful and if so, please consider hitting the like button. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.